Hello friends, do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for more such video updates. Friends, today we are going to focus on one of the most important topic, Kingdom Plantae. So for Kingdom Plantae, we need to understand some characteristics of plant. They are autotrophic in nature, prepare food by process of photosynthesis and most important feature they have cell wall. When we talk about Kingdom Plantae, they are further divided into two sub kingdoms. One is Cryptogamae and the other sub kingdom is Phanerogamae. When we talk about Cryptogamae, Crypto means hidden and Gamae means marriage. When we talk about Phanerogamae, the word Phanero is visible and Gamae means marriage. When we talk about Cryptogamae, the plants belonging to Cryptogamae are Cryptogams and the plants belonging to Phanerogamae, they are called as Phanerogams. Cryptogamae, they include lower plants and the Phanerogamae includes the higher plants. In Cryptogamae, the sex organs are hidden or concealed, while as in Phanerogamae, the sex organs are visible. In Cryptogamae, there is no xylem and phloem. In Phanerogams, they have well-developed xylem and phloem present. When we talk about Cryptogam, in Cryptogam, there is no flower, fruits and seeds. But when we talk about Phanerogams, they have flower, fruits and seeds present. The Cryptogamae is further divided into three different divisions. So the three divisions of Cryptogamae that they are, one is Thalophyta, second Bryophyta and third we have Pteridophyta. The Phanerogamae as Gymnospermae and Angiospermae. Let's try and understand the meaning of this word. Thalophyta, the word Thalo means Thallus. Bryophyta, Bryo means Moss. Pteridophyta, Pterido means Feathery Structure. And the word Phyta is common in all, it means Plant. What is Thalophyta? These are all aquatic animal plants. Bryophytes, these are all amphibian plants. And pteridophytes, these are terrestrial plants. Now, when we talk about amphibian plants, means it requires water for fertilization. In Thalophyta, there is no root, stem, and leaf. Bryophytes also have no root, stem, and leaf. Pteridophyte has root, stem, and leaf. But in Bryophyta, instead of root, they have rhizoids, which works like root. For stem, they have stem axis, and for leaf, they have leafy appendages. When we talk about Thalophyta, it includes mainly algae. Bryophytes, they include hepatici and moss. When we talk about Pteridophyta, they include fern. So these are the three divisions of Cryptogamae. When we talk about Phanerogamae, it includes Gymnospermae. The word Gymno means naked and the word Spermae means seed and in Angiospermae, Angio mean enclosed and spermae means seed. In gymnospermae there is no fruit. In angiosperms they have fruit and seeds are present inside the fruits. Angiosperm includes two class that is monocotyledon and dicotyledonae. So these are the sketch of kingdom plantae. Let's try and understand the first division that is thalophyta. It has two words thallus and phyta. What is thala? It means thallus. What is thallus? When plant body is not differentiated into root, stem and leaf. When you look at algae, you cannot distinguish the plant body into root, stem and leaf. Then that plant body is called as thallus. When we talk about thallophyta, it includes algae. Let's understand the characteristics of algae. First, we talk about habitat. So, we need to understand the habitat of algae. That is aquatic and some are terrestrial. Aquatic includes two, they are marine or fresh water. Terrestrial, we have only one that is lichen. When we go with respect to nature, so nature of algae, they are either free living and some of them are symbiotic. So when we talk about symbiotic, we have only lichens which are symbiotic algae associated with the fungus. When we talk about body, body is thallus. So the thallus is differentiated into two parts unicellular and multicellular. When I say unicellular, so unicellular has two parts, unicellular motile or unicellular non-motile. 
इन मल्टी सेलुलर इट इज ब्रांस्ड फिलामेंटस और अनब्रांस्ड फिलामेंटस यूनिसेलुलर मोटाइल एग्जाम्पल इज क्लैमिडोमोनास यूनिसेलुलर नॉन मोटाइल एग्जाम्पल इज क्लोरेला मल्टी सेलुलर ब्रांस्ड फिलामेंटस एग्जाम्पल इज चारा मल्टी सेलुलर अनब्रांस्ड फिलामेंटस एग्जाम्पल इज स्पायरोगरा वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड ह्यूज सी वीड दैट वी फाइंड इट इज सरगैजम इट कैन कम एज एम सी क्यू वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सेल वॉल ऑफ एलगे वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट हैज टू सेल वॉल द आउटर सेल वॉल एंड द इनर सेल वॉल आउटर सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ पेक्टिन एंड इनर सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल्यूलोज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट क्लोरोफिल एलगे दे हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोरोफिल लाइक दे हैव क्लोरोफिल ए क्लोरोफिल बी क्लोरोफिल सी क्लोरोफिल डी कैरोटीन जैंथोफिल फाइकोबिलिंस नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट फाइकोबिलिंस देर आर टू टाइप्स इन फाइकोबिलिंस फाइकोसाइन इन एंड फाइको एरिथ्रेन वेन वी गो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द कलर्स ऑफ फ्लोरोफिल सो कैरोटीन इज ऑरेंज इन कलर जैंथोफिल इज येलो इन कलर फाइकोसाइन इन ब्लू कलर फाइको एरिथ्रेन रेड कलर वॉट इज द स्टोर्ड फूड इन एलगे सो मेनली द स्टोर स्टार्च इट कैन बी लेमिनारियन स्टार्च और इट कैन बी मैनिटॉल स्टार्च और इट कैन बी फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्टार्च फाउंड इन एलगे वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिप्रोडक्शन इन एलगे दे रिप्रोड्यूस बाय थ्री डिफरेंट मेथड वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन वेजिटेटिव रिप्रोडक्शन इज आइदर बाय फ्रेगमेंटेशन और सेल डिविजन when we talk about asexual reproduction it is by motile or non motile spores when we talk about sexual reproduction it takes place by fusion of gametes whenever we talk about life cycle of algae it shows alternation of generation we all know sporophytic and gametophytic are two alternation of generation in algae the haploid is the gametophytic phase having n and the diploid is this sporophytic phase that is having 2n now when we talk about algae we need to understand there are different types of algae so let's understand the three types of algae first we will talk about characteristics then one is chlorophyce rhodophyce and pheophyce so what are the characteristics of these algae very much important first we need to understand the meaning the word chloro means green phyce means algae for rhodophyce the word rhodo means red phyce means algae pheophyce pheo means brown phyce means algae so what is the other name for chlorophyce so we say the other name for chlorophyce is green algae for rhodophyce it is red algae and for pheophyce it is brown algae what are the chlorophyll found in green algae so we say it has chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b for rhodophyce chlorophyll a chlorophyll d and phycoerythrin for pheophyce it is chlorophyll a chlorophyll c and phucoxanthin when we talk about reserved food that is stored in them for chlorophyce it is starch in red algae we have floridian starch and in brown algae it is mannitol and laminarian starch when we talk about cell wall the chlorophyce the cell wall is made up of cellulose in red algae it is made up of pectin and cellulose in pheophyce cell wall is made up of cellulose and algin when we talk about motile cells so the chlorophyce shows motility it has 2 to 8 apical flagella whereas the rhodophyce or the red algae they are non motile in nature brown algae it is motile it shows biflagellate or lateral flagella when we go with respect to habitat all the green algae they are marine fresh water or brackish water what is brackish water the area where river and ocean water meets rhodophyce it's marine and brackish water for pheophyce habitat is marine fresh and brackish water what are the examples of chlorophyce so we have chlamydomonas spirogyra and we have 
chara what is the example of red algae so we have chondrus gelidium polysiphonia it is used to prepare agar the red algae pheophyce we have ectocarpus sargassum and fucus in the next video i will be talking about bryophyta do subscribe to the channel hope give a like if you have understood the concept that's it this is sunil sir thank you very much